So here is all we've got is a big shallow bank over there, fades out into deeper water, and there's a couple of lumps and bumps, but basically I'm just working an area. These kingfish in these sorts of spots will just move up and down feeding with the tide on their big patrol runs. So I'm just back and forth, back and forth, different lines. Usually you'll mark a fish or two. Once I do that, I'll mark it and we'll keep working that area. But if you find bait or you mark fish, stay in those sorts of areas and, you, and you'll generally get a bite at some point. It is a, a time thing. It doesn't always happen straight away. There we go. We're on. There we go. Come on, buddy. Ow! Oh, I'm gonna stop here. We'll get this up. Busy as a one arm paper hanger right now. You put in all this time, but when you do and you get good results like this, it just makes it all worthwhile. And I can tell you now, the last couple of weeks that I've been catching these kings, I have often spent more time catching just a couple of baits than I have actually fishing because you get the bait, you get in the right area, and if the fish are chewing, you, you get the bite. So We're only in anywhere between 6 and 11 metres of water here, so it proves the fact that kings will get up in shallow water. They don't care if it's 2 metres deep. They'll get up on all those flats up there chasing all the squid and garfish that hang on those flats and that's why they get into these areas show you something too when you're fighting a fish a lot of people when they start fishing they want to hold the rod like that okay as all you're doing is making your forearm tired and, and your bicep if you get this V of your hand here so between your thumb and index finger get that over the top of the rod when you need a break keep your arms straight and just lean back with your body just like that you're using your lower back then to put the hurt on the fish but then you see here basically my thumbs running up the line nice and steady nice and easy here he comes with that big head on him these are such a big fish come on mate come back out Here we go. Now, when you lift a big fish in with a net, rather than trying to lift it that way, a good way to do it, is go like that. Yeah, he's all right, it'll do. Let's slide you onto the mat for a quick, little quick measure. They've got a lot of weight to them. He is 108, 109, nice fish. So there you go. Let's pop this little bad boy back. So one of the favorite foods of a kingfish is squid. They absolutely love them. And while we got live baits before, I stopped and managed to quickly just get one calamari. Very simple, two hook rig. You can use one if you want, but I'm putting a stinger in this. Big circle in the top, just like that, sticking through the bait. All right, and then your stinger hook, the most important thing is to make sure that they're slack between the top and the bottom hook. So I just pin it very, very lightly. Like we're literally just having that hook sit just in the bait, like that. This guy's going out on the downrigger. You see those two hooks there? And if there's a kingfish around, pretty confident he's gonna eat it. They just love them. Hey Bard, come over here where I am. Yeah, they're just, I'm just working this line here. Like, we literally just Wait. land. Oh, we're on again, yeah. We're on. We're on again. Not happy, Jan. I was just telling my mate Wayne to come over here and follow the same line that we're on. He's in that blue charter boat anchors away. Right. So this one, once again, is on 
a yakka. Squid's still good. Chuck him back in the tank. You don't want your bait to die. And I'd normally turn the ratchet off, but I'm leaving it on so you can actually hear when that fish is running and what they do. And this clearly shows that, you know, both techniques work. Fish on the sinker bait and on the downrigger. Come on, buddy. We can measure you and let you go. See that circle hook? Absolutely perfect. You don't need a big hook for these. You just, you know, you get a good hook up on them. Oop, no, stay in the net. That's better. All right. Ratchet on. Reese ball. Dump that there. And... <sighs> Might be a little bit better, that one. Let's find out. All right, we made it. Let's see. 112. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, he's going back. Done your job, bud. lower this down to five meters again there we go we're there we're fishing is he on he just got grabbed again yeah he's on Might be a better one. This guy's got just that weight about him. I'm just trying to go as gentle as I can because if he's big, I don't want him to put in some screaming big run. And probably one of the main concerns here is if he hauls off out around us, you can see there's boats everywhere and you can end up caught up in someone else's line. Yeah, he's got the weight, this guy. He's certainly got the weight. And that also proved then why I like that downrigger or that free spool system of that bait being able to pop out. That fish grabbed the bait, took it, I squeezed the drag up a bit and I felt him drop it, hit it back in free spool, I felt the fish come back, grab it again, drop it, and then I free spooled and he just came back that third time and just wolfed it down. Whereas if you had a tight drag, you potentially just missed that, you know, second opportunity. This is the one we've been fishing for, and it's no surprise he has eaten the biggest bait of the day. And I learnt as a little kid watching fishing videos that kingy anglers work on the theory, big bait, big king. And the idea is that if your bait's really big, a smaller fish can't eat it. He'll come and look at it, but he can't eat it. And any of the bigger guys that are in amongst that school just come through, go get out of the way, and they eat it. But don't be afraid to put a big bait out. He's a nice one, he'll do. Oh, that's why I pinned him in the shoulder. He's still all right though, I think. Oh no, he's in the jaw. He's still a good fish. Oh, you're not sure about your net shot? Just wait, just don't swipe, don't rush it. Wait till it's got the fish in the right position. And then, then guide him in like that. Yeah, he's a nice one. Yeah, that's getting up there. Yep, that's up there. Proves you don't need big tackle to catch a fish like that. Speedmaster 12, 6'6 six, six heavy Therese. And as you saw, we just babied that fish up off the bottom. What have we got? Was he one, he's 115, but he's heavy. Was he's one, 116, 117, anyway. Either way, he's got heaps of girth about him. Look at the shoulders on that. Big fish, strong like ox. It's insane catching them up in an estuary system. But they love to get up in these waters. Let's send him back. 
Come on, bud. All right, now we're out of bait. Tanks are empty, no more bait. Home time.